Hello and good morning and welcome to learning with natural hair. So I came to you last night and I showed you this hairstyle that I'm doing and I explained how I want to um, retain length and we'll see how long I can keep my hair braided. What I did yesterday was also explain to you how I might crochet in some loose hair along with the braids that I already have. And so what I did last night, which I stayed up late doing, <laughs> was um, redoing the back two rows of my hair. So yesterday I had these the braids in the back braided in the same direction as these going straight back. But what I did yesterday was change the direction of these braids so that um, when I do get ready to crochet the hair in I'll be braiding or I'll be crocheting it into these braids so that it falls down instead of falling into line like that into columns. I have rows now rather than columns in, w in which I can crochet the new hair. So this is just the hairstyle that I slept in with this French braid I put it, which you can wear out with this style. Um, but I will take it down. There's one braid that I feel <laughs> that I braided too tightly. Um, and since I'm trying to um, or since I need to practice better, you know, hair growth techniques, I think I'll take that a loose and redo that one. So this is what I did. So I'm going to turn around. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, I changed the direction of these braids so that they are now in rows. I left the braids that I had going straight down in the middle in the columns. I left those. I just rebraided them. So you have two braids going straight down here. One. And two. So if you can see this, I did this in three sections. This section is one. Here is the second section. And here is the third section. And so when I crochet in the hair, the loose hair, which um, I will probably be using a synthetic fiber. I don't have any human hair. Um, available to me and access to you um, for this for this procedure. So what I'm going to do um, is probably use the synthetic hair. More, that's my plan anyway. That's what I've already bought. Um, and what will happen is that the hair going in these braids here will fall in a downward fashion. But the hair that I put in the braids that are in the front will fall to the side. And the one that I put in the middle was to keep um, was to keep me from going like while I'm putting the the hair in, I kept the two columns braids in the middle um, so that when I'm braiding this way it doesn't start, you know, the hair isn't falling this way and then it gets to a point where it where it, there's just like um, a little gap or something. So the hair that's in the middle which we'll see how it ends up looking. It will fall um, kind of, well, it won't really fall, I guess, the best, but it will come kind of downward instead of falling this way. Um, lengthwise, it will, it will fall lengthwise. So, uh, we'll see how that looks, and I will be planning on uploading another video once I do do those crochet braids. But up to this point, I have not yet done them. Um, I just rebraided my hair last night in this one braid that I have that's so that was tight and I could could realize it was tight over here. It's pulling my hair a little bit. Um, I wanna redo that one because it's important to pay attention to what we're feeling um, with our hair. Our scalp is sore. That's not good because it's telling you that something's wrong. It's like when you get a cut, um, it hurts because you need to pay attention to it. When your scalp is being pulled and it's hurting, you need to pay attention to that because it's not it's not good for your scalp to be sore from your hairstyle. Being too tight, as some people on YouTube have opened my eyes to the common sense knowledge of that. Now that I, I can't say I haven't heard it anywhere else, but um, something clicked when you're paying attention. <laughs> so, 
Um, it, it makes sense, you know, if our body's telling us, I'm hurting, to help it. Um, same thing goes with our scalp. If it's itching, maybe not scratch it all the time. I do scratch my hair, or my scalp. But, um, maybe you try applying something to it um, that might help to soothe the itching or to help get rid of the itching. Um, if, you know, if it's dry, to moisturize it. And these are just, you know, like, duh. But then, <laughs> when it comes down to hair, I haven't always paid attention to my hair to say, my hair needs moisture because it's dry. Or my scalp needs, well, that's different. Because I did grow up getting my scalp grease. Um, and so I can't say totally that, you know, my scalp, I didn't know it needed moisture when it was dry. Um, because I did grow getting my scalp grease. Um, and so maybe sometimes I didn't realize it, but that you know it's important to realize, um, or you know just what do you feel like your hair needs? Um, what is your scalp um, signaling to you um, through your through the responses of your body? Is is it sore? Loosen it up. Is it dry? Moisturize it. Um, so it's important to see what the needs of our hair. Um, end up being so we can take better care of it as um, don't hair or long hair don't care mentioned in her video um, she said listen to your hair which I don't say listen to because it you know it sounds kind of <laughs> something else <laughs> but pay attention to it is what I, what I say but it's um, such a common sense advice with hair growth because God gave our body signals for a reason. It's just like I've heard like the scar um, or the cut example that I used just a little while ago. God gave us those signals for a reason because if we were cut and we didn't bleed and we weren't sore then we could be walking around bleeding and sore and cut open until we lose vital blood but God in his wisdom created it so that we hurt when we're cut and our body is telling us to address that issue and same thing with our hair we need to address those issues when when our body's responding to our scalp or when we feel something or we feel it needs attention and so it's just you know it's common sense but it's common sense that I haven't been applying um, all the time in my life which is good to be made aware of because it causes me to be able to take better care of my hair. So, thank you for watching Learning with Natural Hair. I hope that you'll come back and continue to watch the videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I hope that you will, you know, again, continue to come back and watch. And that if you are a woman seeking to grow your natural hair or your relaxed hair even, that um, you will have happy growing with got you sick. Alright, I will talk to you later. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> and have a wonderful day.